New tonight, state officials cracking down on spray-painted graffiti along state roads, specifically the overpasses along the major interstates. News 8's Bob Wilson has more on how police are catching the culprits and just how much manpower and money it takes to clean that mess up. This is what we're talking about. It's becoming more and more a problem. It's graffiti underneath the bridges on the overpasses on the side of the highway. Right now, we're underneath Interstate 91. And here's something to consider next time you see that graffiti. It's not only costing a lot of money, but it's also putting lives at risk. It's also slowing down traffic as they have to take lanes in a construction zone to get it off. This is not art. This is vandalism, and it has a cost. It's harmless, right? A little spray paint by the side of the road. Some call it city art. Others call it tagging. The state calls it a half a million dollars worth of damage as they spend thousands of hours a year cleaning up the vandalism. Lift equipment, snooper trucks, basically bucket trucks, uh, and that puts our staff at risk as well. So anytime that we're taking lanes obviously causes congestion. There's a cost that goes along with that. The state monitors traffic cameras statewide looking for active taggers. But as soon as one is arrested, another one is there to take his place. It's just constant. It's always happening. So it's an endless cycle where the vandalism takes place. We go out and clean it up, and then inevitably it ends up coming back again. It's become such a problem, lawmakers have changed the statute from vandalism, which was a simple ticket, to criminal mischief, which means time behind bars. The statute is criminal mischief. You can be arrested for it, and it's up to a six-month imprisonment for the type of vandalism that we're talking about, graffiti. The courts will also order you to pay for the cleanup, which can be tens of thousands of dollars, as well as jail time. Because it is such a problem, the state is asking you to keep an eye out for anyone actively spray-painting. If you do see somebody who is on the side of the road destroying state or public property, uh, you certainly need to give us a call. It could be not only just that they are destroying property, but it could be a dangerous situation. It is important to call it in right away. However, some things you should note, the exact location. So when you do call 911, state police will have an accurate location of where to respond to. They also say call it in as soon as it's safe to, because the quicker you call it in, the quicker they can get out there, and maybe they can catch them in the act. We're underneath Interstate 91. Bob Wilson. News 8.